PTV Rosalind Lester. I'm Hector Galliano. I'm Aiden Wayne. I'm PTV's Charlie Harder. I'm Eo Gifford. Welcome back to PTV at PHS. I'm PTV's Charity Harder. Today is April Fool's Day 2021. We don't have any pranks for you, but we do have free gifts for you, so you'll definitely want to keep watching. But first, topping off our show, Governor Eric Holcomb announced Indiana's mask mandate will end next Tuesday. It's a decision that comes after mounting pressure from within his own Republican Party. Holcomb will join the leaders of six other states who have lifted mask mandate, a move that goes against the advice of the Centers for Disease Control, which still recommends masks to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Face coverings will remain mandatory in all state buildings and will all vaccination and COVID-19 testing sites. K-12 schools will also still be expected to follow the current mask requirements already in place. On a brighter note, Marshall County remains in the blue color code category, which is the lowest color a county can receive. Turning to much lighter news, Peeps Flavored Pepsi is here and just in time for Easter. But we have to warn you, you won't find any on store shelves. The two iconic brands are introducing Pepsi Peeps, a new beverage that combines the taste of Pepsi with the taste of the marshmallow Peeps. The Peeps inspired Pepsi only comes in mini cans of yellow, pink, and blue. As we said, you can't purchase it, but you can win some in the Hanging with the Peeps sweepstakes going on right now. Fans have to be 18 years old to officially take part in the contest. To enter, simply post on Twitter or Instagram creative photos of yourself enjoying Peeps, Marshmallow Chicks, and Bunnies, and tag Pepsi and use the two hashtags, Hanging With My Peeps and Pepsi Sweepstakes. Winners will receive a limited edition three-pack of Pepsi Peeps sometime this spring. We had such great feedback after our first St. Patty's Day trivia last show that PTV's Roz and Lester hit the halls again, but this time in honor of Easter to see who knows their Easter facts. Wow. I would guess Christmas, but it's probably Easter. Halloween. Halloween. Heck yeah, I know. I'm, I'm great at this. Orange. Red. Blue. Red. <laughs> okay. Peeps. Really? Oh, heck yeah. Eggs? Oh, well, that's, well, that's your opinion. I love Peeps. I like chocolate too, but I'm going to guess the bunnies are probably number one. Ah, I was close. <laughs> Great news to reveal. The status of the Plymouth High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2021 has officially been decided. Similar to last year, this year's annual ceremony will be held outside at the Rock Pile at 7.30 p.m. on Friday, June 4th. Make sure to save the date on your calendars if you're a senior or immediate family member of a senior. Details on how many guests each graduate can invite, if the event will be open or to the public, or if graduation will be streamed via YouTube are all up in the air currently. As for an update for this year's annual PHS prom, we went straight to the prom committee sponsor to find out the latest. Good news, we are having prom. It is May 1st. That Saturday, um, as long as weather permits, because we have to have it outdoors. Um, but regardless, we are going to have tents. We are going to be having prom at the rack pile. Uh, not on the football field exactly, but it's going to be just on the south end of the field, right past the goalpost, kind of where the high jump area is. Um, we'll have a DJ out there. Uh, we will have the restrooms, we will have the concession there that we will be able to have some snacks and some water. Um, but again, good news is, is that yes, we are going to be able to have prom. Well, with the school year coming closer to its final chapter, it's now time to sign up for summer school. Two sessions of summer school are scheduled this summer for Plymouth High School. The first session will be held from June 7th through the 25th, and the second session will be held from June 28th to July 16th. Both sessions are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. with a half-hour lunch provided. The classes are soon to be announced, but not all are guaranteed in-person learning. More info will be released soon. As you may have heard by now, last month PHS decided that next year our Radio TV dual credit class will no longer be. Although the news is sad, we want to say thank you to all of our supporters for watching throughout the school year. We decided to make Easter gift bags for 10 lucky student winners who find a PTV Easter egg with a PTV prize winning message like this inside. PTV's Diego Gifford thought up the creative idea and has been busy working with 10 teachers throughout the building who have partnered up with us by simply planting a PTV egg in their classroom. So ask your teacher now if your class got a PTV egg. If you find one of the PTV prize winning eggs, simply head to our studio located on the second floor in the varsity gym during advisory to claim your PTV Easter prize bag. We'll announce the winners on social media as they come in. 
Thank you for playing and supporting PTV by simply watching our show. Before we wrap this week's show, just a quick shout out to our PHO softball team, who will be hosting their season's opening scrimmage tonight against Gaston High School here at home. Bundle up with the highs and the lows for these ladies and go pilgrims. I'm PTV's Charity Harder.